Okay, this new meta, Bundle Walls sort are of a thing. And I saw this great peak from another builder. I forgot who it was. I'll try to find out and put him on credit. But I wanted to go ahead and make something a little bit more, well, different. So I bring you, well, the potato. Inspired by my duo potato, who likes one by one basics. Let's go ahead and see what I made. All right? Check it out. Let's go ahead with a tour. This is the potato. And we'll start off with your Satori Disconnectable. It's basically behind a single door, a garage door, and a window, which would give it seven rockets and some explode or destroy. If you go to this wall, that's going to be eight rockets. And you probably already know how the Disconnectable works, but let me go ahead and show you. So just do that. Basically, this connects the mechanism, and you can put it back by deleting it or destroying it rather and putting that back up so from here we can enter to one of two uh, entrances which is right here and going in also provides you entry to the sides of your compound so they're all identical with four furnaces and you can go through here and this is your funnel wall basically on this side still the same dragon traps there opening these doors um, basically creates um, more blockage for the entry to the funnel wall so yeah you got bedrooms and some boxes here some good peaks right here when people try to enter the funnel and you have a little bit of peak uh, outside as well just in case they break that wall which they mostly do first in a base like this and going in there's another bedroom module over here in a locker and you can see through the entrance as well you can remove that or shoot through here if you like put embrasures on them instead and then going here is more funnels so as you can see shotgun traps doors and in here is your battery that's one to place to uh, that I suggest you put them in nobody really blows that and going around it's gonna be the same like I said it's identical entrance, entrance right here I suggest you don't do the same as I'm doing here you put a ladder down all right so going up you're greeted by an airlock and in here drop boxes and some electric furnaces and this will take you down to your uh, core area but for now let's check out um, the vending machines the reason I use vending machines here although I can't put two barrels with a new update uh, or the new DLC rather I use these because they're basically honeycomb bro. and going down it's the same this is your bunker mechanism so uh, I got furnaces the tier 2 then more of that um, honeycomb which basically if they broke to that wall this allows you to shoot back from these angles as well and we've got your four box loot here your TC yeah so going back up oh yeah in case you didn't know how the bunker works it's basically a simple bunker like that so you can basically lock Make that into QM, and if you're upstairs, this is what you see. But if you're down here, basically you break that, opens. And since you have that there, it also serves as a defense point as well, in case you still have that. So going up here brings you to the next floor, which is the third floor. This is your initial peak. And in here you have these peaks. I actually saw this in another builder. I forgot who it was really. But it, they seem pretty good. But I thought like, hey, how about I make something a little bit different than that. I like these peaks as well. I actually got them from my teammate Watsing, who's a god. So there we go. And you can have a locker here or a battery. That's up to you. These are just suggestion places for you to put them. It's up to you to interchange it. And yeah, going up. You have these nice dust peaks. I call them dust peaks because I saw them first with dust. They give you pretty good vision as well, as you can see. And also, this serves as your jump up uh, to the bedroom floor. You have your four bedrooms here and a little bit of an open core. 
type of setup right here and this is where it gets nice so over here you can remove um, the strength window and you can have these nice peaks over here as well gives you um, nice coverage over the base and you have view to the funnel using this thing I love this thing dude like if you're getting raided for example and you have these grenades right you can actually drop grenades all the way down to the funnel Oops, lag. Okay. They just go ahead and fuck with people down there. So peaks here. And yeah, uh, going one more floor up. You have more of these peaks right here, which gives you night vision as well. They are pretty good uh, peaks to shoot people from. And then the next floor is ready your roof. So on your roof, you have another bedroom module here that you can use. You can put a bed there, it's an actually bed. And you have. Um, these peaks as well, which were originated, I believe, by um, Evil Worst. Yeah, actually, Evil Worst did this. You can shoot people from there, look down at the compound. You can shoot people from raid bases over here as well. And you have this pixel peak, you can shoot people as well. And this is your mini mountain roof, which gives you ni uh, nice vision fighting um, raid bases as well. Same with this as well. The reason I have this so people can't just ladder up in here. But the good thing about it is, I'll show you later, but first let's finish up. You can climb up here, you can actually put a ladder. I always forget the ladders. And there's a bedroom module right here. Where you can basically search the spawn point. You can just spawn and shoot people uh, from here in case they're right below. So yeah. And right here is where you can jump down to compound. So you just go do that. And you're here. Surprise people, loot their loot, you know. And yeah, that's basically the base. And I hope you enjoy it. So, before we start the build, guys, I noticed that a lot of you are not subscribed yet. Please go ahead and subscribe. It would really help me out a lot. And I'm trying to hit my goal. So, yeah, you'd be pretty awesome to do so. Hit that like button too, or leave a comment. Doesn't matter if it's negative. If there's something you don't like, let me know. I usually reply because I, I like interacting with you guys. So yeah, do it, do it.
If you reach this part of the video, I would just like to say thank you. And I hope you enjoyed what you watch. You're freaking awesome. Till next time, man. Nito out.